Let's move on to the coordination isomerism. In a bimetallic complex, both complex cation and complex anion may be present. In such a case, the distribution of ligands between the two coordination spheres can vary, giving rise to the coordination isomers. This phenomenon is called as coordination isomerism. Here is an example. You got a complex cation and complex anion mixed up. CO joined with amine here. Over here, CO joined with the cyanide here. Chromium joined with cyanide and chromium joined with the amine here. So there is a coordination isomerism. Now, platinum joined with amine. Platinum join with the chloride, copper join with the chloride and copper join with amine. So there is a change. This is called as structural isomerism. Now let's move on to the ionization compound and isomerism. Over here, Sulphate is out and bromine in. Sulphate is in and bromine out. That's it. This is your ionization isomerism. Coordination compounds having the same molecular formula but forming different ions in solution are called as ionization isomers. This property is known as ionization isomerism. The red violet isomers yield a sulphate ion and the red isomer furnishes bromide ion. This one is red violet and this one is red. So CO, CO, NH35 bromine sulphate. So the name is pentaamine bromo cobalt sulphate. Over here, pentaamine sulfato cobalt bromide. This is the name. So, here is the typical example of ionization isomerism CONS3 Cl2 is in. Cl2 is in, NO2 is out. Over here, NO2 Cl is in and Cl is out. The next one is hydrate isomerism or solvate isomerism. The best known example of this type of isomerism occurs for chromium chloride. Which may contain 4, 5 or 6 coordinated water molecules. Here is the example. Over here, I got 4 water and 2 water out. It's a bright green. Tetra, aqua, chloro, chromium, chloride, dihydrate. Over here, one water goes here. One water goes here, it will become 5 and one here is grey green this color penta aqua chloro chromium chloride monohydrate now I took all the water I put it here I got six water here hexa aqua chromium chloride These isomers will have very different chemical properties and on reaction with the silver nitrate to test for chlorine ions would find 1, 2 and 3 chlorine ions in solution respectively. Here is the linkage isomerism. Linkage isomerism occurs with the ambidentate ligands. 
These ligands are capable of coordinating in more than one way. The best known cases involve the monodentid ligands SCN will become NCS. Instead of thiocyanate, it will become chlorosuximinamide. Or NO2 become ONO. You can see here, NO2 will become ONO. So here is the example penta, amine, nitrite, cobalt, chloride. Over here, penta, amine, nitrito, cobalt, chloride. O is attached and N is attached. The next one is ligand isomerism. Ligand isomerism arises from the presence of ligands which can adopt different isomeric forms. You are able to see the CS2, NS2 is here and NS2 is here. Over here, NS2 is here. This is 1, 3. So 1, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 3. So 1, 3 diamino methane ethane propane propane. So 1, 3 diamino propane. Over here it is 1, 2, 1, 2 diamino propane. That's the difference. 